my peeps. Look at me doing three videos very quickly. All right, so I did the pre-work for closing out the budget. We're trying to move into January. Let me show you. I got everything out of my work planner and back into my budget planner. So what I did is the cash tracker, the checking trackers, I highlighted everything, added everything together, okay? Because we are going to fill out where did my money go worksheet, okay? So after I added everything together, I also transferred it, if I can find it, over here. All of my numbers are over here. Okay. And I've got my monthly income for December written down so that way I can compare it with January when we get there. So what we do is we add all these together. And then you have to include your starting balance too, which I have $20 in cash and I have $412.78 in my checking account. So that equals 4777.83 minus the 5501.89. So we're off by $724.06. This is what happens when you don't track your stuff appropriately. Okay. I believe we are officially moved into January, closing that out. I'm not going back and trying to figure out that $724. So to figure out the percentage of percentage of your budget, percentage of budget use percentage of inflow from the monthly budget category breakdown worksheet. Current month's total monthly inflow, last month's total monthly inflow. So we need to take this, and if I'm doing it wrong, let me know. 702.23 divided by 55.89. Oh, there we go. So divide it. All right. So this is 13%. There we go. All right. So 260.28 divided by 5501.89. It's 5%. Okay, and the reason you find out the percentages is to figure out what percentage of your money went to each individual category. So my highest category is 22%. It's debt. And that is right on. I'm trying to pay off debt. Okay. The Jeep, I had to get tires for it again, so it shouldn't be that high. And then also income, $500 I got for my mother. Um, I got a bonus at work, and then Eric paid me some money back too, so it won't be that high again. It'd be nice if some of this actually went to savings instead of buying tires and finishing Christmas and oh, eating out, but it's fine. That's what it is. We will keep better track because this will fit right into my purse, and here's my checkbook right here. Okay, we'll keep better track of tracking our expenses. And we'll be doing weekly check-ins and making sure bills get paid, and doing sinking funds, and all of that happy, happy, happy stuff. Got all the bills, which that's been paid already. Let me put it over here. Oh, yes, I need to track my bills in three different places because I always feel like I am forgetting something. Something. Always feeling like, okay, I think we are done for right now. Okay, I'm going to think think pretty this up a little bit more. I've got a couple more 2023 stickers. Um, that's why I wrote it in my erasable pen. But I think that's about it. All right, we did this without a dog nose this time. 
All right, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later, my peeps. Bye! Take the 5501.89 times, or divide, divide 702.23. Is that right? That's not right. How do you figure out the percentage of budget? Percentage of budget use percentage of inflow from the monthly budget category breakdown worksheet. Is it divided by?